Bitch, you're blocked. Refund me my money. It would be a jet flying bomb. First of all, bitch, how this lady scam me? Fully refundable. What's up, YouTube? My name is Jasmine, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, basically, I'm about to be giving y'all a story time on how this lady scammed me, and pretty, she scammed me out my money. We're not even gonna chat. We, we just gone get straight into it so this happened last week on friday before i was about to get this camera i was originally gonna get i was originally gonna get the canon g7x um i think mark ii but then i seen this one and i was able to get the sony zv1f like before that one so basically i hit the lady up on facebook i mean yeah on facebook marketplace well messenger and i was like hold on let me go back i hit her up and i basically told her i was interested in getting that camera mind you she was selling it i, I want to say she was selling it for 250 so i asked her if i could do 150 so basically what i meant by trade was i was obviously gonna trade my old camera for a new one and she was like she replied back and she was like yes are you still interested i said yes i am i said are you able to bring it to me she said yes i could drop it off that works if that works for you i said perfect does everything come with it i said could you drop it off today she said yes I, and then she asked me what my address was which obviously we gonna blur that out and she was basically i told her i asked her a time i was basically telling her like she could come around too because that's the time i normally got off work or whatever so i was like you know you could come around too that way by the time i was here she would be here and i could just do that so she was like yes or whatever she was like what about 3 30 i was like okay that's perfect or whatever and then i was like am i trading or giving you 150 because she never confirmed with me that i was giving her if we was trading or if i was giving her the money so she was like 150 works i was like okay thank you so much see you soon could you put pending basically on facebook marketplace if you put pending that means somebody is interested in a nine times out of ten finna buy whatever the item product or whatever the case may be is then she goes to say that her husband was telling her that i need to make a down payment first of all why the fuck? this is something that you're selling so why you got somebody else telling them what you should be doing like why are you doing that so she wanted me to put down a deposit and mind y'all she told me it was fully refundable hear the words that's coming out of my mouth so i asked her how much and i asked her if she had zelby and she said 50 and she asked me if i had apple pay i was like yes what's your number so i can send it so boom sent her the number i told her that i texted her she asked me what my number was and she said that she received the text so i told her that i was sending her the 50 dollars 50 dollars what's half of 150 okay that's still a lot of money so she was like let me know when you're done with the payment or whatever so i sent it to i told her that i sent it and she wanted a photo of proof of the payment which now that i'm thinking about it why the fuck do you need proof of the payment if you have the damn message and you see that i sent it to you and you know my number and i sent it to you you y'all picking up what i'm throwing down okay so boom i sent her the screenshot and she says that she receives it and so i basically she was like i received it and i'll let you know when i'm on my way and then she repeats my address to me or whatever and i was like yes that's correct so boom 11 13 a.m i asked her if she could start heading this way around two no response 12 24 if not 3 30 it's fine that's me again 205 p.m hey can you come now and then i told her at 2 34 p.m i said i changed my mind could you refund me please and then at 4 28 i text her i said hello mind you i had already pretty much used the money from the camera that i sold to someone and bought this one and so i still didn't get a response back then a few days go by and i text her i text her on um i text her i think the next day and i see that she saw that i text her and said hello Hell. why did this bitch she literally saw what i said and i was like so you can see my message why when i text that and it and it went through why is there in red at the bottom it literally says could it send in bold red and then I text her again and still nothing popped up. I'm like, okay. So boom, I hit her up in her messages and I text her. There's no way you just scammed me and took my $50. To y'all, it may not be that serious, but to me it's serious. Because at the end of the day, that's my money that I gave you. And I was trusting you to, to keep it and hold my place for the camera. So that way I could get it. So 
I did text her the, sa the same day, the on that same Friday, asking her if she was available, she could, you know, come still or whatever. And then I was telling her, like, basically, I changed my mind. Can you refund me or whatever? Unless you're able to come now. Basically saying, if you can't come now, then I don't want the camera. Therefore, give me my $50 back basically so boom still didn't get no reply mind y'all i called her i promise you i called her i called her and she didn't answer i called maybe about three or four times and she didn't answer so i text her a nice friendly but professional paragraph and i said it is very unprofessional of you to refuse the, of you to refuse to refund my money i said i don't have the camera in my possession and you you assured me that i could receive a refund if i changed my mind i said my mind has changed indeed i said and i would like i would i would like to request that you honor my previous statement and refund me my money at the bottom of the thing it says text message sms if y'all got an iphone you know what that means block hello so you mean to tell me she really took my money and it's like i really trusted that because i gave her a deposit that's what happens did take it let this be our lesson to not trust nobody when it comes to giving money for something especially on facebook marketplace like you got to be real iffy now when when it comes to doing your hair and getting your hair done and they ask you to put down a 25 dollars deposit nine times out of ten you're good nine times out of ten but this was something totally different and this was the first time i've actually had to put down a deposit for whatever item because i've gotten uh, quite a few things off of facebook marketplace before such as this camera and i didn't have to put down no deposit because why should i have to, why should i have to put down money for you to hold my spot if i told you that i'm that i want the product today that doesn't make any sense like i understand that you may not trust me but if you pull up and you see that i don't have no money like literally to get this camera, i literally handed them the money as they were handing me the camera like we literally had our hands on the money and the camera and traded like that like we could have did that but i guess in her head she thought that i was gonna, like you really just pretty much scam you scammed a 19 year old you you at your grown ass age I, like something gonna happen karma gonna bite her in the ass because you really just like there is no <laughs> there is no way like i'm still flabbergasted like she really took my 50 dollars it could have been worse. Bet you I won't be doing that no more. But I hope y'all enjoyed this story time. I know it was a little short, but I just wanted y'all. I just wanted to give y'all the tea, give y'all the scoop on what had happened. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell. Share with a friend if you would like to see me outside of YouTube. All of my social medias, per usual, will be in the description box down below. And without further ado, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm on inside. Got no stick in a ride. If I take flicks with the guys, I gotta put them on.